Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. It's going to be part three of our Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova. Um, we're going to continue on with the page in the back using Polychromos. And last night we finally finished up the house after two parts. Um, and today we're going to do the rest of the house, or we finished up the walls of the house. We're going to finish up the rest of the house and maybe possibly start on everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get the colors for the shingles and stuff like that. And I think we're going to do a gray. And I think I'm going to use warm gray. So let's see, warm gray one, warm gray three, warm gray five, and I'll take out Payne's gray. So just in case, I'll go back to that, it's warm gray one, warm gray three, warm gray five, and Payne's gray in the polychromos. So I hope everyone's had a good day. Let me see if I can get this in position and zoom you in. There we go. So I hope everyone's had a good day. It is currently Wednesday night. Is it one? No, it's Tuesday night currently. It's Tuesday night. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm losing track of the days. Usually when um there's a holiday on a Monday, I always lose track of days because if my dad doesn't work on it kind of throws the whole kind of scheduling out the window, you know? So yeah, it's, I'm hoping that I'll get used to the scheduling, but it will probably just be like, oh, what day is it today? What day is it today? You know, type of thing. But it has been, I would say kind of a productive day, but a lazy day at the same thing. I wasn't in a writing mindset today, so I was like, I'm not going to force myself to write. I felt bad for not writing because I haven't got any writing done this week yet. But being at the end of the book that I'm in, I don't want to force myself into it. I think I'm going to try doing after I am done with this next... Um, project which after I'm done with um All Hallows Eve I need to work on um the Christmas special for Teen Slasher and then get everything ready for the omnibus um and my next writing project is going to be a short story collection I'm taking a small break from the Teen Slasher series until probably late 2019 probably um but I think what I'm going to try doing is, because the next one is like a, a short story collection, I think what I'm going to try doing is focusing on the short story collection and possibly my next book that I'm trying to write, because I think I'm going to try writing one that I'm going to try to, well, I'm going to try fleshing it out first and like really try to um, outline it and stuff like that. And if I can get outlined, start writing it, and I just go back and forth, whatever the mood hits. That way, no matter what's happening, I have a writing project going. So that way there's not days where, like, I'm just off. I can pick and choose what I'm going to write that day, you know, if I am in the mood for it, you know. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. After all this is done. Because I think I'm going to try focusing on my next project that I'm going to possibly focus on to go the traditionally published route. So that way I have two things to choose from before, like I have two kind of first drafts to choose between which one I want to focus on as, like, my quarrying book. So the goal would be to have, like, by early next year a, a decision of, of which book I'm going to try to focus on. Okay, this is, this is Warm Gray 5.
because I still have the book that the contemporary young adult contemporary that I wrote that I might be trying for that one but I want to have one other one that's not contemporary so I can feel kind of uh have like a feeler for what I want to put out and try to go for type of thing <clears throat> so I think that's what I'm going to try to do <clears throat> That way I can sit there and decide, is this the what I want to do or is that the one I want to do and go from there. <clears throat> but other than that, all I did today was read because I was in a reading mood and I was going to take full advantage of that since I wasn't in a writing mood. So I sat in bed. And I finished up Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. It was my second time reading it. And it was just as good as the first one, if not better. So I really, really enjoyed it. And I've started... I can grab it because I have over here. This one, which is Storm, book one of the Elemental series by Bridget... Kamir? Kemmerer? I don't know. But I start the first chapter, and I am not really liking the writing style of it. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a shot. But... It's okay. It has, like, a, pro a premise of it that I feel like I would like, <clears throat> which is... It's like a group of four, four four brothers, I think, who are elementals, I believe. I don't know if that's what they call themselves or not, but they have the different powers of like water, air, fire, earth type of thing. So basically they're earth, they're avatars, you know, <laughs> which I, I didn't put that two and two together until I start, I, re I read the back before I start reading. It's like, um, that's, this is like a sappy teenage drama version of Avatar. <laughs> So, yeah, um, <clears throat> hopefully it'll get better. It's just, for me so far, the writing is very telling instead of showing. So it's like, she did this, did this, did this, 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 instead of showing the environment and everything like that. And it was kind of weird because, like, for some reason, like, the other boys in the school that were, like, the main character ends up coming out of a self-defense class and finding one of her classmates being attacked by two of the other Ion people in the school. And she tries to help them, but, like, somehow those two uh, boys know of the magical ability, or whatever you want to call it, the elemental ability of the male main character. So it's like it kind of just, like, it throws you into the story type of thing, and, like, you would think something like that would be a little more secretive, and it's not, like, not, like, so well-known, you know? But, like, if, like, they knew about it, why doesn't more people know about it? Like, why didn't she know about it type of thing already type of thing? It's, like, it was kind of just kind of threw me off. So I'm gonna give it a little longer. Nice thing is, it's from the library. Oh, that was... Warm Gray 3, and going back now to Payne's Gray, just to deepen up a little bit. But I'm going to give it a little bit, and nice thing is, like I said, it's from the library, so I didn't pay for it. Um, and if I don't like it, I can just return to the library this weekend. But I think my goal from now on is going to be to read two library books, and then for every, or if I read two library books, to read one of my own books. And then read two library books again. Because <clears throat> I have been really into a reading mood lately, which I am beyond happy with. I actually haven't been coloring outside of filming for a, for a while, actually. I don't think I've actually colored in my own time. I don't know. Maybe since Thursday or Friday night? I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure, actually. Because I know this weekend I've all been reading. 
to I'm actually not sure when the last time I actually color outside of filming was I've just kind of been in that reading mood so I just like I'm gonna go for it while it's while it's happening you know take advantage of it <clears throat> I already color a lot this month anyways so and that's the nice thing about running a coloring channel is Okay, I'm going out the lightest color, which is warm gray one. Nice thing about running a coloring channel is even if I'm not coloring outside of filming, I still get my coloring time in because I'm sitting with you and coloring, you know? So that's the nice thing about running a coloring channel is that even if I'm not indulging in my coloring outside of filming, I can still get my coloring fix in when I am filming. Which is always a good thing. Especially with my reading, that reading itch picking back up. Because it helps me um, satisfy both of my, my hobbies, which is reading and coloring. Which is my biggest hobby, like I should say. I need to pull out my diamond painting more. Might do that this weekend. Cause I actually have I I dime painted a little bit last last week I think maybe. Okay, that's it for that. I think I'm gonna use a different one for the windows. I don't want it to be too much gray there. So let's just do. <laughs> Let me look. I don't know if I want to do it in our brown. Let me put these away really quickly. Maybe we'll do a, a yellow and do like the stairs the same way as like the window frames. So let's see, let's use this one, this one, and this one. Uh, yeah. So we're going to use light cadmium yellow, dark cadmium yellow, and dark chrome yellow. But yeah, while the um, itch for reading is on going on, I am going to be fully doing it, you know, fully reading. But yeah, I need to, I think the last time I diamond painted was, I know I did it last week for a little bit. Maybe it wasn't this past week and maybe the weekend before that, I'm not sure actually. But I did it for a little bit. I need to start doing it more. Because I still like doing it. It's just... Yeah, I think it was not lasting the weekend before that because I put it aside. That when I, I want to f try finishing up one of my books, um, my Dover coloring books, my Dover mandala books. I'm almost done with it. I have three more mandalas to do. Three more and then I'm done. Um, let's see, let's do the window seal here. Same colors. Yeah, I only have three more to do, and then I am done with that book. Okay, let's do this part. So I'm hoping to have it done by end of this month. Okay, that was the dark chrome yellow. This is dark cadmium yellow. So I'm going to try, I think, maybe tonight after I'm done filming to finish up one of the mandalas I'm working on. I'm working on, okay, I'll show you really quickly. I'm not going to show you all of them because I want to keep it a little bit of a surprise when I flip through. I'm working on this one right here with the nice glitter gel pens. But I only have a few more to go. Then I am finished with that book, which is exciting. I want, and I want to finish up this month because it's um, uh, it was Lisa and 
It was Lisa and Donna from Call of Donna. Um, who are doing Dive into Dover Spark. Was it this month? I think it was. This month has somehow seemed like the seemed like the longest month and the shortest month at the same time. I do not know how. <laughs> but it feels like that, so I don't understand. Like I was I was talking with my, with my mom earlier. It's like for some reason this month feels like it's flying by, but at the same time it's like it's still going on. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the dark chrome yellow again just to deepen up some areas. It's like I have lost a full track of like everything that's been happening this month. It's like okay, yeah, this month has just gone on too long, and that happens a lot with the heat. The uh, summertime, to me at least, it feels like the year just or the months just drag on in the summer. I am much more of a cold weather person because the heat just kind of kills my stomach. So I don't like to go out in it that much. Okay, I'm going to now take the light cadmium yellow over all this. See, so yeah, in the summertime, I don't really go out at all. Unless it's to go to the grocery store or like now here to feed the cats outside or to get the mail. That's the only time I really ever go out is to get the mail in the summertime. I'm just glad that we don't live in that apartment complex. You probably can't see, yeah, you can't even see the full stairs. I apologize about that. Um, I just glad we don't live in the apartment anymore because we live about, like, we live like back here, and the mailboxes were like all the way up there, you know, type of thing. So you ha we had I had to walk on the other side of the com I had the apartment complex to just get the mail. The only pl a good side to it was at the the um, mailbox and the parcel boxes uh, in there in the apartment complex. It was air conditioned in there, so like when you ever uh, you open the mailbox, it kind of gave you that blast of cold air in your face, which felt really good on the hot days. Well, I kind of like that in the the camera and in person it just looks yellow, but in person on the camera it almost looks like it's lit up. You know, it looks good. Okay. Let's see. I think. Hmm. Let's do a different kind of brown. Let's use cinnamon as our lightest. A cinnamon. Terracotta. Which I think we use terracotta on that. No, we use burnt ochre. So terracotta. Um, Caput Mortum? And Burnt Umber. Just kind of deepen things up. Yeah, so luckily when I go with the mail, I only have to walk to the edge of our, the property, but when it is summertime, that is enough for me. Because it's just, I don't like to eat. And it's like, it doesn't really matter where, if we lived in the south or we lived in no, up north again or wherever we lived, everywhere is just getting hotter and hotter. So it's like, why like uh, uplift everything, you know, type of thing and move somewhere where it's just going to get just as hot, you know, type of thing. Or at least down here we have air conditioning and stuff like that. Where like we, oh, when we're up north, a lot of times during the summertime we didn't even have air conditioning. We had like little electric fans that you put in the window to like blow the air out during the daytime, and then you turn it around and let it blow in at nighttime. There are only a few houses that we had growing up up north. Um, that had air conditioning and like um central air type of thing most of them had central heat but they never had air conditioning and 
when you live down south, it's a necessity. Because even though it gets hot up north, it gets hotter down here during the summertime. It gets deadly down here. Because, like, if you're in here uh, somewhere without heat, it's like living in, like, a sardine can, basically. It's like living in a sardine can out in the sun. So, not pretty. Okay, this is terracotta. Make sure you can see this time. <laughs> I'm hoping that the air, not the air, but the, well, the air outside, but I'm hoping that it gets cooler because it, it has almost been almost, I think it's, was it, I don't, I don't know, maybe it might have been record breaking or record tying heat so far I see already and we're like uh let's see 21 25 days I think away from summer already and we already have had temp like heat indexes up in the triple digits like no because usually when it's this hot this early it is not a nice feeling summer So I am hoping that it's just a heat wave and that things go back to normal. <laughs> because I can take when it's like high 80s, mid 90s, you know, without heat index. But as soon as the heat index starts hitting that triple digit, it's like, no. Because you go outside and it just, it takes your breath away from you. It's like the moment you step outside, you are just dangling on for, like, dear hope. You know? Okay, I use the lightest color cinnamon now. Me and my dad were joking the other day we went to the grocery store. It's like, and the next vehicle we get is going to have a remote start to it. So that way, like two, three minutes before we go out there, we have the air conditioning running. We get into the vehicle and it's nice and cooled down. We don't have to worry about it being hot and disgusting. We're doing that. So hopefully when we go start looking around for a different vehicle, we can find one with a nice remote start. I think I'm going to take a black gel pen and do all the windows. I think with the sun rising up here, it would be like a, just a morning scene. I think the house would be fully asleep. You know, it's like the dew drops all over the plants. Like it'd be like a morning scene. So it's kind of a reverse haunted house. And I'm gonna do the black dots yet yeah, all over the background with surprise some black paint. Do kind of a reverse starry night sky. That's still my plans for, but I wanna wait till it's done. Wait till yeah, to wait till everything else is colored in, I should say. There, I like how it looks. Okay. I'm gonna wait to do the gel pen until right before I end the video because I, I might smudge it. I don't want to smudge and ruin it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink. Okay, we have worked on enough browns. So I am going to go ahead and do, I think I'm going to do the leaves up here. I think I'm going to do these green. Okay, let's see what color green is. I want to use this one. I have not used this one yet. Cobalt green. I haven't used this one yet. 
So this is kind of a bluish green. So let's see, maybe let's do some blue greens. We have cobalt, this is cobalt turquoise. What about this one as a medium color? You can't see it, it's blurry, like a medium. So that'd be light, dark. Or what do I do? Maybe, maybe put that one first. And then a dark. Maybe hooker's green. Like that, let me see. Let me get a scratch piece of paper really quickly. And see. What that's, this looks like. If I do, let me try this just the cobalt. Can you see? Hold on. Whoop, you blurry. Just turn it like that so you can see what I'm doing. Take the cobalt. Next would have been the chrome. The hooker's green. I want to see both ways of doing it. If I go too heavy, this might be a little too dark. Yes, this color kind of washes these ones out slightly. Let me see on camera. A little bit. Let me see. Do it this way. This is the light dalio green. Or like Dahlia Blue, I think, and then do the Cobalt Green. Do a four color blend instead of a three color blend. see with this now yeah I think that would be no yeah I think you can see it a little better so I think I'm gonna do that one let me go ahead I'm gonna pause this sharpen these and I had to get my cat she's trying to come in the room so I'll be right back okay I'm back my cat had found a bug that flew in from outside so she wanted my attention to clean it up so the colors I'm gonna use is light thalio blue cobalt green Chrome Oxide Green Fiery or Fairy, Fiery, Fairy, and then Hooker's Green. Let's see, let's go ahead and get this flat. To, there we go, you see? And I'm gonna do these um, leaves here, that color. These ones down here, I'll probably do a different one. Yeah, so when we go outside, we leave the porch light on for the cats. Um. Sometimes the bugs that fly around the lights fly in the house. So it's one of those little, um, like a, like a little gla a grass bug that came in. They come in all of the time. And she loves to chase them down. And it was, it's almost one o'clock, well it is one o'clock, so she was one of her nighttime treats. And she's been mad because we were lower this week, so we only got, um, three bags for her. So she had to have, like, the same flavor. Usually we get, like, five or six little bags, and then she has, like, different, uh, different flavors to, you know, like, kind of move around in the... Um, in the meantime, throughout the week, you know, we can get, like, she can get, like, a little a flavor here and there. It's not, like, the same things over and over. So, she's been mad this week. So, um, she's, uh, she, she doesn't mind it, but I accidentally grabbed one of the bags that weren't her fair flavor. So, whenever we give her those ones, she gets very annoyed at us. <laughs>
But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good week. We are officially now, because this will be out on Wednesday, officially halfway through the week already. Which means tomorrow night is Slasher um, Season 3. This is Chrome Oxide Green Fiery. We're gonna, me and my mom are going to watch episode 3 and 4. Um, and then Thursday is iZombie and the grand finale of RuPaul's Drag Race. It's all done. It feels weird because it's been on for the last six months. Because All Stars 4 was on and then, um, season 11 came on. And then I'm going to give it like probably two months. Well, um... Drag Race UK has already filmed, I think, wrapped already. Um, but in August, which I am so very excited about, um, Dragula Season 3 starts, which Dragula Season 3 is ran by the Boulay Brothers. And it is more horror-related. They're searching for the next drag super monster. And let me just tell you, if you do not have... A strong stomach. There are going to be some scenes in that, on the, on that reality show, that kind of competition, that are going to make you, you know, sick to the stomach. It's not like your, it's not like your everyday kind of show. And I love it. It's creepy. It's kind of like underground type of horror. Um, and it's just super fun. And I like, I like the, how they eliminate the queens instead of like lip syncing. They, um, go through like an extermination, extermination, extermination. And like they fake kill off all the contestants in like different ways every single time. And then when they do the reunion, they do like a little fake seance and like bring them all back from the dead. I think, I think all this, uh, the first two seasons are on Amazon Prime if you have it. And it's honestly worth a watch. There's just some scenes you may have to look away from. I've had to look away. Even my mom has had to look away. Because, like, in the first season, they had to get, like, piercings. But not, like, bigger piercings. It was, like, the the ones, like, that, like, this deck, you know, kind of thing goes to the skin type of thing. And my mom has a, just kind of a, I wouldn't say a phobia, but kind of like a, just doesn't like seeing that type of thing. So I had to like watch it because that doesn't bother me. And like let her know when it was done. Oops, there's a tip. Go flewing off. Flewing, flewing off. Flying off. Couldn't speak there for a second. So it says it starts August and I think it starts... Uh, let's see if I can find it it's on calendar. I think it's going to start on August 1st. It just says August. Because there's a rumor that they're going to do a um, Halloween crowning of new Super Monster. Because it would fit. Because I think the show's always been on a Thursday. And with the amount of people on there... Or speculate to be on there. It would fit to have a Halloween finale. Which actually I love the idea more because the past two seasons have premiered on Halloween. And it makes more sense to have the finale. If you're going to do a horror show to have it kind of end on Halloween or something like that, you know. Then to be like just starting and then... You're having like all of like the the horror stuff coming on through the Christmas, uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, the Christmas holiday, and then there's the the break between Christmas stuff like that. So it's like it doesn't end till like January then. Ryan Murphy had the uh, the right way is to shorten the season up and premiere it slightly early, so that way before Thanksgiving. All of the season is done because you kind of, 
I don't lose interest, but some people will lose interest easily in, like, the horror stuff after Halloween. So it's kind of best just get it over, over and done with beforehand. Plus, with that kind of show, it fits to have um, a Halloween finale. So I don't know actually how long we have been filming right now, because I took that break. But I think we're going to do, finish up these plants and maybe do these, the fruits tonight. I'm not sure. We shall see. And later tonight, you're going to see my final part of my adult coloring book, or not coloring book, coloring supplies collection. I actually had to go back to part one and link part two in the description. So that people can find it by watching that one. I have to reply to comments. Be while this is uploading, I'll probably do that. Well, this is editing and uploading, or not editing, but it's um, processing. Okay, I'm going to use the lightest color now. I'm just going to do a very light layer because I don't want it to come out like super, super blue. I want to kind of just have like a bluish tint to it, if that makes sense. So kind of like that. I have to go through too and make a list of my Jade Summers. So that way I can, on Friday, go through and make the tally marks for everything. There we go. I like how that kind of looks. Kind of like a bluish green to it. That way I can, for Jade in June next month, I know which one book to pick up after um, Dragons. There. Kind of like how those leaves turned out. Kind of not like the typical leaves I'll go through on a fork. Usually I do like just pure greenish leaves. Ooh, excuse me, hiccup. Ooh. Ooh. That one kind of like came on like really, really fast. Kind of like almost like choked me and like made me want to like, like gag almost <laughs> from the hiccup. I hate when that happens. Where you're just kind of sitting there, you hiccup so hard, or like so fast, randomly, you just kind of like activate your gag reflex, like, ugh. And it's probably because I had ate a little too fast before filming. I had one of those moments where I was sitting there, it's like, I was getting ready to film, it's like, on, on, like out of the blue, it was like, you're hungry, eat now, type of thing. Even though, like, I, it was like, my, on my stomach, like, you didn't eat for, like, forever and it's like I ate like maybe like two hours beforehand you know it's just it's like you didn't eat for all day that's how my stomach felt and I ate 
like, I had a bowl of cereal, like, maybe two hours beforehand, and I didn't have just, like, a small one. I had a big, huge bowl. So I was like, well, I just guess I'll find some eats. I had some, um, some pasta salad they had in the fridge from this weekend. Because the, this is the week we go to Aldi's and stock up on a whole bunch of food again. So it's kind of like we're down to like that last little bit. And we're trying to like finish everything up in the cabinets again. So it's kind of like a free for all with snacking right now. And for supper tonight we made, or I made in the crock pot because... So whoever whoever was just a genius enough when they were designing this house and building it, they put the thermostat right across in the kitchen from the oven, meaning that when you turn the oven on to cook, which you aver usually average cooking for supper is usually like an hour and a half in the oven, hour, hour, hour and a half in the oven, you're like out that whole time, say you cook for an hour, because usually we cook for, for in the oven for an hour. 30 to 40 minutes of that, your air conditioning is running non-stop. So by the time you're done uh, cooking, your whole house is like a popsicle. So since it's summertime and the air conditioning, or it's been so hot, um, we just decided we're going to start cooking more of the crock pot. So I put in some chicken thighs that we had in there and put some rice in there. It's kind of like I made like a quick little chicken rice bake. And I wasn't in the mood for that earlier, so I just um, ate something else for supper. My mom liked it, though, so that was good. And then tomorrow is going to be like an experimental food. I'm going to be making almost like a stew, a soup type of thing. I'm going to have some pinto beans soaking right now. And then I'm going to put them in the, uh, the crock pot and cook them really good with some seasonings tomorrow. And then I'm going to put in some pork chops, kind of cut them up and cube them up, put them in there so they cook nice and slow and nice and soft with it. And then I'm going to fry up some hamburger, mix that in there as well, and kind of make like a hamburger... Like a bean stew type of thing with hamburger and pork in there. And I'm going to put in like about 23 minutes beforehand. I'm going to put in, wait, before we eat, I'm going to put in um, a can of mixed vegetables. So there's a nice amount of vegetables in there too. So it's going to have, it's going to be like almost like a, one of those meals where you just kind of empty your fridge and all your leftovers into one thing and kind of like concoct uh, a recipe. <laughs> but I remember last night I was laying in bed because like we were going to have a chicken rice bake tonight. I was like laying in bed last night. It's like we have like two or three bags of pinto beans left in there because when we first moved in, we were really low on food. So one of my dad's friends at work, um, his wife, um, helps out at um, a food pantry. So she brought over a whole bunch of food um, from the pantry for us. And there was like eight bags of pinto beans in there. And we have like two left of them. There's like eight bags of pinto beans, and like six bags of white rice. So it's like we were been having rice and pinto beans for a while. But I forgot they were in there. I actually thought we ate them all. And I look this morning, I was like, ooh, we have these in there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make them up like I'm soaking tonight. There. I like how that looks. There. Okay, I'm going to get some browns now for the stems. See if I can put it put them in the right order now. I got them in. The nice thing is if I don't put them in the right back in the right order, I can get my swatch book out because that has it in the right order. Now let's 
see. Let's do Burnt Sienna, Cap Capuch Mortem Violet, and Dark Sepia for the little uh, branches, stems, whatever you want to call them. Can I just do like that? See, other than reading today, I've been. I found my new like um YouTube obsession which is watching video clips of the UK reality show Just to Two of Us to uh, Just Tattoo of Us and that show I honestly don't know why people want to do that show or the U uh, US version which is how ta how far is tattoo far because like the premise of it is two friends go on there and they get to tattoo whatever they want. They don't tattoo it, but they like get um, a tattoo artist to kind of draw it and then kind of tattoo it onto the other person. And the things that people do, I can't even say on here because of family friendly that I like to keep um but yeah if you want to be shocked or to have a really good laugh just search just tattoo of us which is the UK version or how far is tattoo far which is the US version it's just like some of them are actually really touching like they got she some of them got like um like they ta got tattoos of like tributes of like lost family members on their friends stuff like that and then like it's really f sad at the same time because like you they got like tattooed of like a lost family member on one of their shoulders but then that's like right after the reveal of like the other person having like a male body part tattooed on her body so it's like you did something really sweet and got that as your payment <laughs> so it's like it's it's just like ridiculous honestly but it's like prime bad tv a reality tv that like i couldn't look away from and honestly the uk version of it so much better so much better than the US version. But honestly, UK and the U honest, like UK reality shows are kind of better than um the US. I don't know why, but like they just do reality TV a lot better over there. And I wish that like streaming sites over here in the US would add in um, UK reality shows, or that they would, like, make their own streaming service for that. Here in the United States, they, like, kind of import over, like, how our shows over, like, the UK sometimes will be on, like, Netflix or Hulu, you know, type of thing. I wish they would do that for their shows over here. Because, honestly, I am kind of, like, a reality tra show trash person. Where I just keep watching. I'm going to turn this again to get into the spine. But honestly, I love a, ba a good, bad reality show. They're just kind of very, very addicting. There we go. It's just honestly very, very addicting, and I get kind of sucked into it, or you start watching it all day, over and over and over again. That's kind of what happened with just Tattoo of Us and How Far Is Tattoo Far on YouTube. It's just like, this can't be real. These people have to, like, it has to be in the contract that you can, like, they, that they pay for tattoo removal or tattoo covering up. Because all shows will obviously pay you to be on there. So it has to pay enough for, like, probably, like, 
tattoo removal or like, um, you know, whatever, like to cover up or get removed. Or possibly, like, the bigger the reaction, like, the worse the tattoo, the more they get paid type of thing. Because, honestly, some of them, it's just, like, I don't even know if I would be able to do that to, like, my worst, like, enemy. Because, like, tattoos are permanent. And some of the ones that they put on there and the placements of them are, like, you can't cover that up. You know what I mean? Like, you can cover it up, but, like, you're gonna have a full back piece then. Just to cover it up. To get, uh, get like, to erase what was done. So it's just kind of like, eh. Just the thought of that, just kind of like, oh god, no. You know? There we go. And I think I'm going to use gel pen for these. So I think we're actually done with my pencils for tonight. I'll grab a drink again. Let's see. Let's see if I can go over here and grab my colorettes. There we go. For a green. Mm, let's use this one. So we're going to use glitter shamrock for the green of the leaves. Make them nice kind of magical fruits. I'm gonna do this in a um in a stickles later on. Which I might actually do tonight because I think after this is gonna be done. I wanna do it like this one up here. Where is it? There we go. Kinda like this right here I did the the chain of the ribbon in it. But I think I'm gonna do this whole thing in stickles as well. Because it's not around somewhere where I need to shade everything in. And I can set the book aside and let it dry overnight. Well, technically it should be dried by the time I'm done editing and uploading and stuff like that. And then next time we'll fin pretty much be finishing up. I'll, I'll do the, I'm going to do the windows too. So I can do that in the gel pen. So I'm just going to use a black non-glitter gel pen for it. Because my idea for this is like a reverse haunted house type of picture where usually they're kind of like dark and spooky, which is like my favorite kind of haunted house pictures, you know? But I want to kind of do like a morning haunted house type of thing. So, it's kind of be like the haunted house the night after. <laughs> the night after the big spooks, you know? And I'm going to be working, I think, possibly tomorrow or Thursday, I'm not sure, on maybe working some color combos and doing a different variation of this sky. And I think my next one is going to be pink. Because I have a, a picture in mind that I would like to do in like a pink um, background. So hopefully I will do that next time. Maybe I'll be able to work some colors out and then do it on camera.
Oops, I'm just gonna do this all the green side of the mist of that sky part right there. And it will fit as a leaf. Take a black little gel pen. Add in a little line there, and now it's leaf. <laughs> See, at this weekend, I we had to go shopping. I have to go to Walmart, so I had to get like some daily needs stuff and laundry supplies. So I have to get a razor this week because I, for the past like month, month and a half, I've been using razors that I've got at like the Dollar Tree and my face. It needs a break from them. So like I shaved this morning, or not this morning, this afternoon, and it's like, I'm surprised I have a face left. Luckily, it has some face masks that I got in there, like the sheet masks. I could probably put one on tonight after I am done with everything to kind of like rehydrate and kind of soothe my face a little bit. Okay, I was different that. I'm gonna go over here, get myself a Pentel. Let's see what color do I want to do that. Do I want to just see? Do I want to do the Milky Pops? Let's just go ahead and put them away. Huh. I can do purple. Let's see. This one will fit better. I can do purple. Which is kind of like a bluish. I can do pink. I think that one will be the winner. I can do orange. But I think that might clash a little bit too with the background. What about red? Kind of like nice. No, that's a little too dark. I think I'm going to do pink. I think I am going to do pink. So this is a Pentel Dual Metallic Pink plus metallic pink, so it's metallic pink on black paper, and then on white paper is pink. So if I go over the lines there, it should be like a metallic pink. I'm not going to go try to go over the lines. And what I'm going to try doing is once this is dried, go over the lines with a Pasca. Kind of circle them just kind of make them pop a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go over them like this. Yeah, I really am glad I chose this. Let's see if I can just go ahead, put the sparkle, is it stuck? No, oh, there we go. Didn't wanna come, there we go. I didn't wanna come out of it uh, first. All over that one back there, cause it's kind of smaller. I was going to do these in pencils when I first start the page. It's like, no, I want to put like at least something with gel pen. Because it is kind of like a magical world in this book. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll get some writing done. Because I am on the last four chapters of this book. And the reason I didn't want to push myself is because I'm on the last four chapters of this book. Meaning that I'm in the most important part of the book. So 
for me, the most important parts are that I can't rush or like force myself to sit down and write is the beginning. The first, I would say, five chapters of the book and like the last five chapters of the books. I cannot sit down and be like, you're writing today no matter what. Because those for me have to, like, the, your book has to start out strong, your book has to end strong. Not that your middle has to be, you know, I can't, I can't, like, falter, you know, a little bit. But, like, each chapter has to be perfect, yes. But, like, I can sit there in the middle of a book and force myself to write it and feel like I did a good job. But if I sit there and force myself to write the last few chapters of a book... I, I just want to throw the whole thing out the window and just, like, delete the file off of Google. You know what I mean? So. I will still get a chapter I'm writing done by the end of the week. Cause I, normally, when I sit down to write, I write a chapter at a time. So. But I am looking forward to watching Slasher episode 3 and 4 tomorrow. And I seen already on Net on Netflix, yeah. Um that nailed it season 3 is on there. So me and my mom had to finish watching the holiday version of it. And then get into season 3 because that show I've been gasping for air laughing at that show sometimes. That is definitely a show that you can watch with the entire family and you're all going to be sitting there just holding your gut because you're laughing so hard like your sides are going to start to be like hurting your face can be hurting from like smiling and laughing the whole time it is a good show So I'm excited that that one got a new season. I'm hoping that, like, because it's, like, a reality show, that it's, like, cheap enough that, like, Netflix can, like, keep it on, you know, type of thing. Because if they can produce, what, like, two, three seasons of um, Queer Eye in one year, maybe they can start doing that with Nailed It, you know? And Sykes, I think pretty soon we should be getting an announcement for season two of Insatiable. Because I think they're, they're filming the last time I seen a post from one of the actors on Instagram. They were filming, I think, episode eight or episode 12. So even if they're just on episode eight, that means they're almost at the end. So... I'm hoping by like August, September. So I think that's when the original show came on. The original season one start, I think, was in August or September of last year. Because that show is just, it's wrong on many levels. <laughs> but it's absolutely hilarious at the same time. They like, got a bad rap from the beginning. Like, people just kind of jumped on, like, the hate bandwagon of it with before the show even aired type of thing. But, like, if they actually would have watched it and made a lot of good points type of thing. So, I'm hoping that season two, because it ended pretty abruptly last year on, like, a huge cliffhanger. So I'm hoping that this season's good. And I'm hoping that it gets picked up again. Because a lot of Netflix shows seem to end on like season two.
I'm almost out of this one. I have to go to my... Nope, it's still not in there. I have the second one sitting over there in the baggie. There. Okay, let me grab us some stickles. Let's see, I'm gonna do... A red. So let's grab... Which one do I wanna do? Let's see on camera. This one, rhubarb. And I want to do... Confetti. Or cosmic. Yep, cosmic. Let's go ahead and get these nice and ship right, ship up. So I'm gonna do this part here, red. And since I don't have to do pencils, it's good to be able to do this. There we go, like that for the almost like as a ribbon coming down. And then take Cosmic and do a little cocoon. Yeah, that's the color I wanted. Cause it's nice and kind of bright, not being too bright. This would match really good if I used the purple, the violet one in the dual metallics. But it still has that kind of pink reflex in it, so it fits, you know? Okay. So you can see, let me see if I can, there you go, nice and sparkly. I guess you, you'll be able to see the sparkle even more um, next time I do film. So I'm just gonna take this black gel pen, and just fill in the windows to make it look like it's a nighttime, not only nighttime, but like everyone else in the house is still asleep type of thing. But you'll be able to see it next time I film because the stickles get even better once they dry. What time is it? It's, oh, wow, it's almost quarter to two. This video is probably going to be a long one. I don't even remember how long I filmed before um, Katya wanted my attention. So... Well, I did say I wanted to film a longer one, so. And I think I might, instead of doing one of the mandalas, I might finish up a whip that I have in Steampunk Darlings by Hannah Lynn. I only have a little bit more pencil work to do and then I have to just do it all in gel pens in the background in gel pen and sorry if you've seen a whole bunch of my hair because I just realized I was like almost like hitting the camera with my hair so if you've seen my head pop in or seen my hair pop in I apologize yeah, this is how I like it a lot better. It's like a nice nighttime scene, like the housemaid just starting to wake up. Or maybe this, they're about to like, maybe, like maybe an hour from waking up type of thing. See, I think there's maybe only, depending on how long I film tomorrow, one part left of this, if not two parts. So I should definitely have this done by 
either Thursday or Friday. It's there. We are done, let's zoom out so you can see what we have done so far. So a nice little sparkle and shine. Before I go, I'll show you the whip I was talking about. Actually, I have two whips I would like to finish by the end of the month. But I'm working on this one in Steampunk Darlings. In the background, I'm gonna do it all in gel pen. And she is called Melody. And I want to try finishing up by the end of this month. Um, this one that I did the skin tutorial on in Desert Muse. So I'm hoping to finish both of them up by the end of this month. And maybe, hopefully, even if I just finish up my Mandala book early next month, I'm almost done with it anyway, so. But anyways, that is it for today. I'm going to go ahead and edit this together, upload it, and then tomorrow we'll probably be able to finish this up depending on how long I can film, like I said. If not, um, it'll definitely be done by the end of this month. So that is very good, end of this week. Um, I hope you're all having a good um, week. I hope you're all staying nice and cool if it's really hot where you are, like it is where I am. Um, I hope you all have a good day, and until next time, have an amazing day, and happy coloring.